Well, hello everybody. I turned on the camera and of course the wind starts blowing. I'm in the high tunnel and I just thought I would pop in here today because it's been a few days since I've done anything politically related, but we are what 10 days I think out from the election right now. And there's a lot of things going on in the world. Um, we know last night that Israel attacked Iran and hold on, let me tether that door up real quick. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. I just had to prop that up so that the wind didn't knock it around. Uh, so anyways, yeah, we know that Israel, uh, bombed Iran last night. Um, I think it was only military bases that they were, um, firing at and, from what it sounds like they were all intercepted there was very little damage they're hoping that this is the end of it but um i don't think that's the case i think iran will again retaliate um so we have all of that going on right now um we still have all the cleanup from helene that is ongoing and still so tragic um and you know it's basically silence from the government. Although I did see that they are um, booting FEMA out when they come in. So I think that's probably a good move just because they're just gonna come in and cause more chaos and uh, they don't need that. Those people don't need that right now. They need, they need help more than anything. But through all the things, you know, we have the, the Wyoming fires going on. Um, there was, um, just a bunch of stuff that's happening across the country right now that's tragic and devastating and you know we're all on the edge of our seat right now we're all expecting something to happen something more to go wrong and it's kind of crazy and it's it's very easy to focus on all the negativity but there are some silver linings there are some good things going on and you just have to really listen to what people are saying. So here's a couple things, point in case, uh, from our state of Pennsylvania. I, my son, my oldest son, he's 20. Uh, he came out last night. He goes, you got to listen to this Bob Casey ad. So Bob Casey is a Senator. He's a Democrat. He's been in for, I don't know how long. Um, I feel like he's been in for since I was born, but I mean, I know he hasn't, but <laughs> And he's just been in for forever. Well, Bob Casey came out and he made a couple ads. And he was actually talking about how he worked with Donald Trump on border bills and other types of things like that. Just let that hit you and sink in for a couple minutes. He came out with two ads recently. And it was, you know, Bob Casey, I'm Bob Casey and I approve of this, uh, this advertisement or whatever. It's his, it's his advertisement. You can go look it up for yourself, but yeah, he brags about how he worked with Donald Trump on things. And I just find this fascinating because this is a long-term Democrat Senator who was avidly against Trump for some time. And now he's touting his ability to, oh, there's something his ability to work with him. And I just think that's kind of telling. The other thing that I saw this morning was that, um, John Fetterman, another, um, this Fetterman Congress or Senate, I can't remember. I, I pay a little mind to Fetterman, but anyways, he came out today and said about how the support for Trump in the state of Pennsylvania is astonishing. I want you to really think about that for a second because again, he's Democrat and he's verbally said about how much he hates Trump in the past, but yet he came out and had to admit to the New York Times that the support for Trump is astonishing. That you just have to drive across the state and you can see how massive the movement is. I want you to take hope from that because Pennsylvania is a very, very important state. The early voting looks really, really great in, as far as things for Trump go. Harley's looking at tomatoes. Is this not amazing? I haven't watered it in how long. I have, I am in my high tunnel. I have not watered this tunnel probably for a month or more just because I was kind of going to let it, 
I was kind of going to let the tomatoes kind of die off. Look, there's some good sauce tomatoes. There's like, huge ones over there. They're huge. They're like... This is um, October, what are we, the 24th? 25th, 26th, 28th is Monday, 27th, 26th, October 26th in my tunnel. Look at this pink Belgium tomato. Absolutely gorgeous. So I haven't, I haven't watered. I, I have very badly neglected this tunnel because I was ready to reset it. Uh, I'm going to put plant cabbage and stuff in here for winter, but I mean, it's still producing. This tunnel has been amazing. I just came out there to tell you I'm going to ride to Cali. Okay, go have fun. I can't be out here long anyhow. I have two loaves of banana bread in the oven that I'm going to have to go pull out. Um, had some organic um, bananas that just, you know, sometimes you get them and they're good. And sometimes you get them and they've been beat up and all bruised and the kids don't want to eat them. So banana bread it is. Yeah, look at that. All those what sipping a con peach, those are perfect down there unbelievable anyways so i just it's very difficult i know to um, find those silver linings right now in the current atmosphere but i want everybody to remain hopeful we have to um while we're remaining hopeful at the same time we also have to be on guard and um, we still have to get out and we have to vote and do it early if you can. I'm going this week, uh, me and my, my oldest son, who's old enough to vote, we're going to vote early in person, not the mail-in ballots. We don't wanna do that. That's, that's, that's a no good. Um, but if you can go in person, I believe we have to go to the courthouse. Um, not a big deal. It's like 20 minutes from here. You just go in and we'll get it done and be done with it. So um, we've got to make sure that we're staying vigilant. And I still think that we really need to prepare, especially if you live in cities, there's, there's going to be craziness go on and that's inevitable. But hopefully I'm, I'm very optimistic and I'm hoping that it all kind of blows over. I'm hoping that at this point, it really looks like they can't, it, it really is too big to rig. I really believe that. And if they try something ridiculous at this point, everybody's going to know that it was cheated because it is literally too big to rig. You have people coming out that would have never shown any types of support for Trump and they're, they're throwing their hat in. Um, I just read an entire um, speech, an entire article from a cardinal in the Catholic Church saying that well, he knows that Trump is not perfect, that he will protect, you know, Catholic folks and the Christian religion. Um, and regardless of where you fall in, in religion and whatnot, um, I think that we really have to remember that the United States was founded on freedom of religion and that anybody that's coming against somebody's religion is very un-American and very against the constitution, right? So no matter what that religion is, um, you know, we have to be mindful of that. And I think that, you know, her stunt last week where somebody, you know, said praise Jesus in the middle of her rally. And she said, I think you're at the wrong rally. You need to go to the smaller one down the street. Um, she really stepped in it with that one because anybody that's Christian of any type or even religious, um, and, and, and any sort, or even if you're not religious, but you respect people's freedom of religion, then you have to look at that and say, that's disgusting. That's really sick. Um, and whether she was just trying to be funny and is really not good at being funny, or whether she was being spiteful or what she was being, uh, it did not work out well. It did not work in her favor. That's for sure. Um, I don't know. I think that she should lose horribly, like probably lose more than bigger scale than anybody's lost in a very long time and probably slink off into the shadows. But if something happens where she wins, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen because I don't think it's possible that she wins at this point. But again, we need to remain vigilant. Um, we need to 
prepare again because we just don't know what's going to happen. We need to be ready for the unexpected. And that's with all things in life, though, because look at what happened. North Carolina, South Carolina, you know, Georgia, um, Tennessee, look, Florida. You have to be prepared for the unexpected, whether that means riots out in the street or crazy Niagara Falls amounts of water pouring down into your mountain neighborhood. You just don't know what's going to happen. And the best thing that we can do is to just be prepared for the unexpected at all times. But especially going into the uncertain times ahead, we're going to be heading into some rocky months, I think. I just think so. But hopefully I'm wrong and I'm, I'm hoping to be in, um, optimistic about this because I really do think it's too big to rig, guys. So I hope this finds you well. I hope you are all having a great weekend and I, you know, I hope that you take some comfort in this and just listen and just really see people's mood, how it's changing. Um, I'm excited to be honest with you. I'm really, really, really excited because it seems to be a movement that's picking up steam. There's people that their hatred grows every single day. And for those people, I feel really sorry because hatred is a really unfortunate place to live. Um, it will consume you and turn you into a really awful person but I see so much hope and so much positivity and so much good in light of all bad that's happening. And I have hope for humanity. So with that guys, I'm going to get in there and check on my banana nut bread because I don't want it to burn. And I will check in with you guys later. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.